This is real-time two-dimensional fish tracking in the tail race of a hydroelectric dam. Normally, the tail race of a hydroelectric dam is very noisy and poses challenges when attempting to track fish in that sort of environment. This presentation will be an overview of methods that HTI uses to track fish in such a noisy environment, followed by two examples of studies conducted by HTI. The challenge of attempting to track fish in the tail race of a hydroelectric dam mostly comes from the noise. Things like entrained air, variable speed of sound and water, debris, and acoustic noise caused by ADCP, boat noise, and fish finders all lead to interference with acoustic tag tracking technology. These noise impacts can be minimized by using acoustic tags that are fully programmable and utilize the pulse repetition period method, which allows more sound energy to be transmitted. Here, the tag ID is encoded in a unique period. Unlike traditional hydroacoustic surveys, acoustic tag surveys require that the signal produced by tagged fish be received on multiple hydrophones. This means that the impact of noise on an acoustic tag survey is greater than a traditional hydroacoustic survey in that multiple hydrophones need to receive the same signal. This video shows a signal being produced from a tag fish being received on multiple hydrophones. In order to properly track in two dimensions, the time delay between signals being received on separate hydrophones is used to locate the fish. In order to increase the signal to noise ratio allowing for multiple hydrophones to detect a single transmission, a filter was used that matched the transmitted pulse of the acoustic tags only. The match filter was effective in that only coded tag signals were detected, allowing us to raise the gain to simultaneously detect tags on at least three hydrophones. The signal produced by the tags is Barker coded, and the output of the corresponding match filter can be seen here compared to the output of a continuous wave pulse filter. The techniques HTI employs using a matched filter and a programmable period pulse for tags allows for the reduction of noise in an otherwise noisy environment. Now we'll move on to two examples of where HTI has successfully tracked tags in noisy hydroelectric dam tail race environments. This is a dam on the Yuba River in California, and as you can see from this photograph, the water in this area is very noisy. Shown here with satellite imagery, the whitewater nature of this area is quite apparent. In order to ensure that tag tracking could be done in this area, a basic hydrophone array was deployed and a tag drag study was performed. Here is a picture of the tags being attached to a weighted rope for the study. The tag drag was conducted in the white water section of the tail race of this dam. With four deployed hydrophones and a GPS to ground truth our tracking data. The results of that tag drag, seen here, show that two-dimensional tracking of tags in a noisy environment is quite possible using the techniques employed by HTI. Here is another location where tail race tag tracking was done by HTI. In Brazil's San Francisco River, a university, UFLA, one of Brazil's largest power generators and distributors, CEMIG, and HTI worked together to track fish using acoustic telemetry. Seen here are members of those teams. Around 200 Karimba and Manji were tagged with Model 795 acoustic tags. The tag weights and tag life fit the study requirements in addition to permitting numerous tags to be present at one time without any tag data collisions or false positives. Here the HGI crew can be seen initially setting up and testing the tag tracking system. 
To cover the tail race area, 11 hydrophones were installed in fixed locations. Each hydrophone was attached to a simple fabricated housing on a metal rod and submersed in a specific location. Tags were simultaneously detected and identified in real time at a distance of up to 100 meters in the turbulent white water of the dam's tail race. Each fish was tracked in two dimensions. In summary, hydropower tail race is a challenging sampling environment for any scientific methodology. Challenges include significant levels of entrained air and turbulence, shallow water, and possible non-reverberant noise from power production. Noise impacts can be minimized by using acoustic tags that are fully programmable and utilize the pulse repetition period identification method. Tag encoding and matched filters allow more sound energy with better arrival time accuracy and position precision. As a result, only coded tag signals detected and minimized noise with entrained air. These results demonstrate that acoustic tags using the pulse repetition period identification method is an efficient tool to 2D track in the complex and noisy tail race environment. Thank you for listening to this presentation.